Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this live broadcast. And I'm talking about something uh, super important. It's for those of us uh, who are in the in in the in this, uh, this the the summer heat and finally getting summer and and we're wondering, you know, what what can we do, right? And you think that perhaps getting in the pool would be a great idea. And of course, here comes the news about this cryptosporidium, crypto parasite. And so what exactly is, is cryptosporidium and what am I talking about? So uh, cryptosporidium is a parasite and it's actually a one, uh, one celled parasite that can really wreak havoc for those of you who are wondering, wreak havoc in your body. So uh, when people do have cryptos cryptosporidium, which is the name of the bug, you can have cryptosporidiosis. And you can pick this up by swallowing contaminated water for, for so many of us who have kids, right? They're swallowing all kinds of water. So it's important to know that that it can this this is one way to pick it up. And when when you get the parasite, it can travel through your small intestine and cause watery diarrhea uh, as well. So watery diarrhea that can last up to three weeks. You can also experience stomach cramping. You can have vomiting, dehydration. Now, here's the thing, you know, it's people don't think about that in, in your in your local pools, right? So it's really important. The CDC is now, uh, the warning that they're talking about is that there this, this infection has been increasing about 13% every single year, 13%. And over eight years, there was a total of 444 cryptosporidiosis cases uh, and and led to over 7,400 cases. And those are just the ones that reported. So I'm sure there are a lot of folks that had it that didn't even know that uh, they, they had the infection. So again, we're talking about this cryptosporidium or crypto parasite that lots of people talk about. It can cause diarrhea, can cause abdominal cramping, dehydration, vomiting. So a lot of people are wondering how serious this is. Remember, when you have diarrhea, it can lead to, especially severe diarrhea, it can lead to dehydration. Very concerning for everybody, but also, uh, especially children and pregnant women, if the diarrhea doesn't, doesn't get better after a few days, contact your doctor, really important. Um, it, and, and cryptosporidium can be life-threatening for anyone um, with a immunocompromised system. So people whose immuno, immune system has been compromised, it can really be life-threatening for them. So there's been one death, thankfully, only one death reported since 2009. So for the most part, very rare to be fatal, but still a serious disease. So still would not, you know, blow it off and think uh, nothing's nothing's going on. So really important to, to talk about this. Now, so a lot of people say, well, listen, isn't there chlorine? What about the pool chemicals? Doesn't, doesn't that uh, actually get rid of this? Well, cryptosporidium can live in seven days in pools because it's extremely tolerant to chlorine. And I should mention this parasite can also be found in kiddie pools, water playgrounds, as well as lakes. So lots of places and infected animals. You can also pick this up from infected animals. So really important, all the stuff in the summer that you enjoy doing, it seems like, it, it, you know, this could this could really get you. So I want wanted people to enjoy those summer activities. So I've got some prescriptions. Number one, limit your swimming activities. And clearly, for especially for people like me with little kids, you know, you want to avoid having swallowing pool or lake water. Also, wash your hands thoroughly. We talk about this and frequently, especially if you handle newborn farm and domestic animals. If your child has diarrhea, make sure your child is not in the pool for up to two weeks after the diarrhea stops, after the diarrhea stops. So very important. And avoid daycare also if your child has diarrhea since cryptosporidium infections are contagious. So really important. Again, I don't say that you don't, you can't be in the pool at all this summer, but just listen to some of the prescriptions I I gave you, and I think you should be okay. We'll keep an eye on this and let you know if any, anything more is, uh, is is going on. But cryptosporidium can be a problem for for folks. Uh, you just have to uh, have some precautions. So thanks for watching, and remember, make healthy living a part of every day. Namaste. I will see you very soon.